Beloved leaders, blessed families from around the world, our beloved, the true mother of heaven, earth, and humankind is coming on stage. Everyone, please rise and let us welcome our beloved, the true mother, with a loving round of applause. Since Father's holy ascension, true mother has lived her entire life for the sake of realizing Father's will. She walked a seven-year course of the cosmic Canaan course to bring about the firm establishment of Channel Gok, and she kept and realized her pledge with the true Father. Let us give another round of applause to our beloved true parents, and in particular to our beloved true mother. To everyone, let us offer a bow of greeting to our true parents, to the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind, Kyongbae. Now the time has come for us to receive precious words of truth from our beloved True Mother. Let us welcome True Mother once again and let us express how happy we are to meet her with a loving round of applause. Beloved, blessed families around the world, Chambo families of whom I am so proud of, today is truly a day to rejoice. In Cheonilguk, as we march forward the bright, beautiful Cheonilguk, today we mark a new beginning. God the Creator became the heavenly parent and together with the victorious true parents on earth together with the beloved children in substance the kingdom of heaven on earth is being realized and Heavenly Parent had this dream from the beginning. Unfortunately, due to the fall of the first human ancestors, Heavenly Parent's dream could not be realized and as a result, a world of despair and suffering began. The Creator, who is almighty, omnipotent, and omniscient, needed to bring about the realization of the providence that was initiated The, the word failure does not exist in Heavenly Parent in the Creator's Dictionary. Therefore, the long and painful history of the Restoration through indemnity was initiated and humanity has been educated that providence was so arduous and painful that it took 6,000 providential years. However, Heavenly Parent wished to realize the ideal of creation on the earth and as a result God searched for the propitious nation where to send the true parents 
Unfortunately, despite being the chosen nation, the environment of Korea did not embrace true parents, and 60 years passed. These 60 years were a long providential time that cannot be explained in words. This was a time of trials and tribulations, a time when the light of heaven could not shine. It was such a difficult providential history. True parents for the past 60 years have been working in stages and through each stages and each proclamation true parents finally proclaimed in 2012 the foundation day of Chanilguk. The beginning year of Chanilguk had started. However, the start of Chanilguk can only be accomplished through the only begotten daughter, true mother. I knew the dream of heavenly parent. And that is why for the next seven years, I had to overcome unspeakable hardships and challenges to realize without fail on this earth an environment where Heavenly Parent could be attended in substance by humanity. And therefore, I toured the world to restore seven nations and seven religious denominations. Furthermore, humanity needs to find hope and that is why I've been working tirelessly to bring about the day when humanity could find hope once again. And through the process of initiating the providence to restore the continent, I proclaim the firm establishment of Chanilgok. And on that foundation, on this earth, Heavenly Parent can now directly operate and the abode of Heavenly Parent the Chanil Sanctum was dedicated. And Father, who ascended to the Kingdom of Heaven, is now working completely in unison with True Mother on Earth and we are working to bring about the realization of God's providence. And as the true father, father had a responsibility on this earth. In Matthew, 11.31 it is written He who speaks against the whole spirit cannot be forgiven. The meaning of
is something we should deeply reflect upon while we are on earth as the true father all sec and all unprincipled path anybody walking in an unprincipled path even though they may have secular ties with father all of those ties must be completely cleared up and father has that responsibility and father will do so he will take care of all secular ties and unprincipled relationships and the, after that there will be no shadows whatsoever even of the fall the only thing remaining will be the victorious true parents who attend heavenly parent together with humanity who attends heavenly parent and the long awaited and the long expected dream of the realization of the kingdom of heaven on earth the kingdom of heaven on earth will be realized and in that process the responsibility of chumbo families is indeed great it is through you chumbo families that the second and third generations can naturally grow in an environment of attendance to heavenly parent that they can grow in love in joy and happiness and they can learn from a young age how to attend heavenly parent and together we can grow and develop this beautiful environment of channel gok for future generations therefore the time has come for us to realize heavenly parents dream and the responsibility of chonbo families in that regard is indeed great until now due to the ignorance of human beings today's earth the environment is really being destroyed due to the covid-19 pandemic people cannot see beyond today how can humanity find hope and realize the long cherished wish of humanity a world of lasting peace let us not allow the many institutions and many challenges and obstacles made by humanity towards the realization of peace to remain we have the responsibility to realize god's original ideal and god's original ideal was to accomplish the ideal of creation and one of those ideal consists in preserving and restoring the earth to its pristine environment for future generations god created the earth to be eternal god created human beings and all of creation with eternity in mind and the world of creation that is unfallen retains the original nature and operates in accordance with the principles of creation it is human beings 
who are destroying the environment and had the human beings not destroy the environment then eternal life for humanity can be accomplished in particular these days all around the world due to climate change due to droughts wildfires continue to happen and torrential rains are causing tremendous calamities and countless human lives are being destroyed we cannot idly sit and watch as these phenomena occur we need to realize a family that attends heavenly parent and in particular the role of blessed families is important you are called to unite with true parents and take the lead in solving these critical problems afflicting the world our dream consists of realizing a world where all 7.8 billion people around the world live in attendance to God the heavenly parent our responsibility is to make sure that all 7.8 billion people around the world can all become God's beloved children and live each day receiving the love of God in accordance with the ideal of creation we need to guide humanity to return to God's bosom educate humanity on how they can become the children of God who receive the love of God live each day filled with God's love those who know the truth have the responsibility of sharing the truth to others wouldn't you agree therefore we can no longer allow sorrow and pain to bring sadness and so and suffering to God's heart we can not walk the path of unfilial children let us all realize heavenly parents dream together let us become the true chumbo families let us become true filial sons and daughters let us become true citizens of god's kingdom that is my earnest hope and prayer and blessing to all of you and please be filled with hope because Chanil Gook in the coming days will be a beautiful environment that will shine brightly for the entire world. This is my blessing to all of you. Thank you, True Mother, really gave us such a precious message.